Hello, Dave Fulmer here, and today is November 24th, 2014. This is Thanksgiving week in the U.S., and uh, I want to show you today how to set up your AIOP web hosting. This is just one of the many web tools that you receive as a member of the All-in-One Profits. And this set of instructions will show you how to set up the hosting. What you need to know about hosting stuff on the web isn't that hard. And these instructions are intended to receive any concern that you have about the technical requirements. I do recommend that you purchase your own domain so that you can start branding yourself and or your business. Personally, I also recommend you purchase your domain from GoDaddy.com because GoDaddy has always provided excellent service. Their 24-7 phone support is outstanding. A .com domain will cost you only about $12 or $13 per year, and since you host that domain on your AIOP hosting account, that will be the only additional expense you have. First of all, when you log into your back office and you click on products, this is the page that you'll see. And as you scroll down on that page, you will see the box that says click here to request your hosting account. What you do is you click on that box and uh, the next page will tell you about hosting. Notice that All-in-One Profits does not provide domains. You have to get your domain from some other place like GoDaddy or uh, any of the other com companies. Unfortunately though, this set of instructions is only going to refer to GoDaddy. So uh, because of their service, I recommend that that's where you, you purchase it. Once you have purchased the domain, and we'll show you further down in this video how to get the domain from GoDaddy, you put that domain in this box, right? in this area right here and then you click on your request to do your hosting account and I'm not going to do that because I've already done that with and I don't want to uh, uh, show you some other stuff at this point so uh, there's one other thing I need to mention is that if you don't want to register domain you can use one of their subdomains and then but that's all you have is the one subdomain. The, your, the unlimited subdomains is not a, ops available. Option is not available on the subdomain option. So if you want to leave, if you, if you want to have one of All-in-One Profit subdomains here instead of having your own personal domain, then you leave this blank and you just click on request your hosting account. So at this point you have to make a decision whether you're going to purchase a domain or not. When I purchased my domain I didn't accept any options. I just went through the checkout procedure and bought the domain for $13.17 and that's a one yearly fee. You don't have to buy it from GoDaddy, but I do recommend that. Here's what you see when when you go to a domain. You sign in and uh, or you register. If you've already purchased a domain which I have from GoDaddy and you sign in uh, this is a screen that you will see and you put in your username and your password and you sign in of course and uh, the next screen will show you how to proceed 
Now, if you have not purchased the domain yet, what you do is you you click on uh, the domain button here, and then you click on Find Domain. And in this area, you enter what you'd like your domain to be. Uh, and you should use your name or to brand yourself. Or if it's, you have a business, you can use your business name. And I do recommend that you do a .com because most people will go to .com first. And once you've got your domain name entered in here, uh, you will click on search and and if it's available they'll tell you it's available and you can purchase it for uh, the cost that that you can proceed through the uh, checkout and you can buy the domain for for around like I say 13 to 14 dollars Once you have your domain, you go back to your AIOP account and enter that domain in this box and then click on here to request your hosting account. And then the next screen will tell you how to handle your uh, handle your name servers, what you have to do is you have to go back to GoDaddy and uh, you have to uh, go to your account when you visit my account and you have your domain purchased you click on launch and it seems to be slow this morning there we go now what I chose for my domain was easy as abc.com and uh, you just click on easy as abc.com because what we have to do is we have to put our name servers in correctly I've already done that, but I'll show you how to find this. Once you get there, you scroll down to name servers and you click on manage. All of this is explained in detail in the PDF, which is uh, located on my site. Uh, and it, right in this area, you have the opportunity to uh, put in the custom domains, which will point to all-in-one profit hosting account. You put in both of them, and do not click on Add. Just click on Save, and your, your domain name has been changed and then what you do is you just wait 24 hours until all in one profit sends you a message and it's it's uh, it's all ready to start using and the next video will show you how to use your web hosting account Thank you for watching this video.